Hello, welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT, and we are back in the Death House, which sounds lovely, doesn't it? Uh, let's bring the lights up so you can see what's going on here. So we need to finish the attic, and then we've got the underground area to do, which is actually where most of the action happens. Uh, oh, that's nicer, isn't it? You can see what's going on. So I did a couple of bits between videos before we move on to do the attic. Um, I did update the image for our Spectre nursemaid and just made it uh yeah a little bit nicer so um you know these are supposed to be specters and ghosts of representations of specific people not generic ones so i wanted to use a better image for that so i have done that and also for our um, animated broom um i was the picture was naff i've just had rubbish one with white behind it that i just grabbed off of google uh, i've just tidied that up a bit so now that's a bit nicer as well so that can sit if I can move it to sit over there uh, hidden until it comes to life I'm fine with the suit of armor I don't have a problem with that at all um, that's all good right so what else did I do I was thinking that one of the things we haven't got in here is um, an ability for the players to move between floors <laughs> so on the ground floor here yes they might want to go up the staircase um, but at the moment they can't do that it doesn't go anywhere they just basically walk off the end and go around in circles and nothing happens so i will need to put in those transitions and in order to do so um i was just having a little think about it uh obviously levels we have top right over here we have this drawings to place stairs so we absolutely can do that um, and have that multi-level now because this is not like a ladder or a single staircase it's actually you can go up down and things like that i think i'm going to use monks active tile triggers as we've done before instead um, but when we look at things like the the third floor here i'm thinking you know there'll be a, a trigger down here for when they go down but when they come up here they come up the stairs there's going to be a trigger here for them to come up and I'm going to land them about the same kind of place. And then they would deliberately have to go down to hit the next trigger. So that way they can go up, they can go down, um, wherever. And it will make sense for where they move. And then it will bring them down to the next next you know point on the stairs. Uh, so that's, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Uh, <laughs> haven't done it yet. But that's probably what I'm going to do. And to make that a bit more controlled, I just put in some additional walls in around the center of this staircase so they have to kind of go around the stairs rather than just jumping straight over the, the the banister the balcony bit here now these walls the reason why they're blue is because i've put them in as block movement but they don't block light they don't block sound or vision or anything like that they're only blocking movement so i still see the whole of this i still see the whole of this image here they just won't be able to walk directly through here they'll have to walk up the stairs they'll hit the trigger and it will dump them here they can continue walking up the stairs do whatever if they come up here they'll hit the trigger it will dump them on the stairs and then they can either carry on up or they can go down and hit the other trigger and that will take them down again so that's the idea now in theory they won't go up and down the stairs repeatedly um, they should in theory progress up the house you know room by room up the house room by room up the house you can't rely on players <laughs> so always be prepared that they are going to go all over the sodding place because you know it's their game in it <laughs> do what they like so with those couple of bits out of the way let's go and look at the attic because we finished everything we needed here uh, and we can go and look at the attic now uh, again this is dark and gloomy we don't have much in the way of light sources aside from these two um these two lance lanterns now we do have a series of windows here though which we probably uh, if i go to my walls we probably need to make these windows uh, now we can set them as doors uh, to enable them to do this because effectively it is a door isn't it they can climb out of it uh, i could adjust the bottom heights and top heights if i wanted to can't be bothered don't see that that's really going to help us at all uh, if we wanted what we could do is restrict movement and say well yeah you can open it but you can't go through it um, and if we wanted to do that for the attic that's absolutely plausible and we could just say the windows are barred as an example so let's do a bit of that for each of these in fact actually what we should be able to do is if i hold down uh, shift i can select both of these at the same time uh, other windows 
hold down shift get that one and that one as well and you could argue that there's a window above here probably is isn't there let's do the four we've got so double click and this should change all of them um, hang on change it to a door there we go a movement restriction uh, normal oh yeah I've done something silly haven't I of course it's going to have movement restriction regardless let's do that um, yeah so I've done something silly down here <laughs> I know amazing huh is I've actually said there's no movement restriction so they can move through that door just want that to be normal so normal movement restriction unless they open it so if we do this we should be able to just open these windows and of course if we had a, a token up here let's make it dark again um, I need Haley. Haley, where are you? Let's dump Haley up here in this room. Let's make it dark again. Okay, so we've got this light here that we can turn off. And for Haley, this should be really dark. But if she opens the windows, we should. Yeah, because it's so dark outside, we're not getting much light in. Let's. Um... Yeah, as that gets a bit brighter so we, we just need to play with our lights if we want that to be a thing where we can open the windows and we get the light come in um i'm, I'm not sure it's a big deal to be honest i'm not sure if i'm in all honesty if i care that much i just don't think that's going to add anything but i'm going to give them the option to be able to open the windows because they may well try to do that okay let's get rid of Haley. don't need her okay so um yeah, we've got these couple of little lights in here, but by this point in the house, they're probably walking around with their own light sources and are not going to be interested in opening the windows for light um, because not every room that's going to be useful for anyway. OK, so what have we got up here in this area here? We've got this main attic um, like landing area, um, which there is pretty much nothing here at all apart from cobwebs and stuff um, it just mentions about the fact that this door here is locked and I did indeed make that a locked door it talks about the spare bedroom uh, which is dust choked contains a slender bed a nightstand an iron stove a writing desk um, and things that's this one over here uh, a smiling doll in a lacy yellow dress sits in the northern window box cobwebs draping it um, so nothing exciting um, at all it then talks about the storage room which is this one here so this is the storage room uh, and it talks about it being a dusty chamber uh, a near iron stove underneath one of the sheets is a locked wooden trunk containing the skeletal remains of the family's nursemaid wrapped in a tattered bed sheet um, stained with dried blood a character inspecting the remains can verify that a woman was stabbed to death by multiple stab wounds. Now, I mean, if she's that been this skeletal remains, that's some serious anthropology there to, to work out that she was stabbed to death. Um, I would suggest that you point out the fact that there is a knife still sticking out of a rib cage if you were going to if you were going to let them do that medicine check to find out how she died without the access to modern technology. <laughs> um, right. So if the characters disturb the remains, the nursemaid's spectre appears unless it was previously defeated downstairs so this is this this same nursemaid okay so if they encounter the nursemaid so if they try and go into here the nursemaid appears and attacks them to defend the what is actually the dead child um, but if they don't do that and they're up here she will attack them up here instead if they disturb her remains so I'm going to chuck her out here again. Uh, uh, I didn't want that, did I? I don't want that. Give me the proper appearance I want for this individual. Thank you. Uh, where did I put it? Du, 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 du. Character portraits. I think I shoved it in there. She is. There we go. That's what I want. Uh, and I'm going to make that invisible because... And actually, I can slap her right out the way for the moment. Uh, she's only going to appear once. It could be one of two places. So it's worth having both the icons on there. Both the actors on there just so it's easy to access all right um, and then it talks about the secret door which is this one here okay that talks about that secret door but that only is revealed under certain conditions so two conditions 
that it will be revealed and we'll come to that in a moment but of course you know if you're running the module you know what it is uh, and then it talks about the um, the spare bedroom so that's the writing desk sorry this is the spare bedroom this one up here okay this is the one that's got the doll in the um, it's got the doll in the window sill thing um, okay so spare bedroom is boring children's room so this is the children's room so this is actually so when they first met, approach the house they get uh, the two spectral no they they think they're real children saying there's a monster in our attic um <clears throat> a monster in our house and that is rose and thorn and actually this is that these are the bodies of the two children rose and thorn so they were left here and basically died because they've been locked in we know that this door down here is locked so it talks about a toy chest stuff with animals and things characters who search the doll's house can find that the doll's house shows that there is a secret door and when they find the secret door in the doll's house this secret door now becomes available so no matter how much searching they do they cannot find this secret door unless the house allows them and the house will only allow them if they find the secret door in the doll's house okay so it talks about uh talks about that of course um and it does also say that if the doll's house or the chest are disturbed then the ghosts of rose and thorn appear and it wants us to use the ghost uh, monster as a template for it now the idea is if they don't fight them <laughs> that's the theory so i'm going to duplicate this uh, and i'm going to change the image for this one whoops a daisy all the clicks uh, and i need to upload a new file for this and i have yeah i know you're not used to this but i have actually pre-prepared something <laughs> Uh, I've got my image of Rose and Thorn. So let's take Rose as a ghost. Um, and we're going to use that one. So this is going to be Rose. So let's call her Rose Ghost. So we know exactly who that is. Good. Uh, and then for this one, we're going to do very, very similar. And of course, we're going to put our pick a thorn for this okay so they're both ghosts full power ghosts um i didn't rename him thorn ghost and we can drag these out and of course it's not going to pick up the uh i love the fact it keeps taking me to a default place that's lovely but it's not what i want who am i doing i'm doing thorn aren't i where are you, Thorn? There you are. Okay. So here we have Thorn. Oh, it's not it's not fitted quite as well as I would want it to for the token, but that doesn't matter. I'm not really that bothered. Let's fade you out. And I'm just going to pop him out the way for the moment. So because we're going to have the player characters going to be wandering around in here. And we're going to have the same. Yeah, let's do the same for this one as well. So for the token. Your appearance, please. <laughs> uh, here you are and here's rose brilliant we've got her token as well so those are those are going to appear as and when something gets disturbed in here and the idea is it's supposed to be a conversation it says they're small lawful good um which probably means we ought to make these these tokens a little bit uh do you know what? i'm gonna leave them as full-size tokens it's absolutely fine so the idea is they have a bit of a conversation with the ghosts. Um, they talk about um, the monster in the basement, died of hunger, blah, 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 blah. Uh, role play, role play, role play. And the whole point is the fact that they will find out about the secret door here in the doll's house, which gives them access to this. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So the, the very last one is is this this set of stairs here, which just says about the spiral staircase. Um, uh, so the only way that that secret door gets revealed is one, finding the replica of that secret door in the doll's house or finding Strahd's letter in the secret room behind the library, which was here. 
this letter right literally right there that one so finding that letter that we already covered um, will also reveal that secret door so it's possible that they don't actually encounter um, rose and thorns ghosts at all it's possible uh, but if they do yeah this is going to open up and they're going to be able to go down and this staircase is only accessible from the attic and it goes all the way down to the basement level which we haven't got on here um, and the reason why is because I'm going to have that as actually a new scene before we do that though let's sort out our stairs so from the ground floor the only we've got a couple of tile triggers in here for descriptive pieces to bring up a couple of images um, but I do want to uh, put in these active tile triggers for us so again just tile controls we're going to do a new tile and I'm going to put that was hideous this is the problem of using tiles on tiles let's draw another tile over here now I can bring this in uh, and make it the shape that I want now actually when it comes to walls what I really need to do is put a wall across here so that they're not going up the stairs the wrong way <laughs> so let's put a, let's put a wall in yeah let's put that in like that uh, might just move that slightly okay so they can't accidentally go the right way so this is going to be our trigger for if they come up the stairs they get to that part of the stairs um, then they are going to land oddly enough similar kind of place at the top here so let's see what I mean doing tiles on tiles it's a little bit a little bit brown trouser uh, so this tile we're going to dump just at the top here that's going to be the landing tile so on the ground floor if they enter this one so any tokens anyone enters it so that's all correct um, but can't do it while pause because they won't be able to move they will have sight anyway the actions we're simply going to have is it's called teleport I'm pretty sure it's called teleport it's been a while since we've done this yep we're going to teleport the triggering token and we're going to teleport them to the first floor that tile that's it that's all we need to do now we can tell it to snap to grid um, other things that we can do but we don't need to do anything else here that's all absolutely fine uh, and this particular tile is not going to do anything else that's it it's, this is just a landing tile so that's all we need to do for that one I'll tell you what I will do though is I am going to use an image for this uh, and I think I had did I have it under interface yes I'm just going to select this black one here so while that's black I can then actually make that there we go can't see that tile anymore which is what I want okay so back to the ground floor for this tile we can do the same for that from a just aesthetics point of view and you'll notice I did it with the ones over here as well uh, I just put a, a black image in just to uh, and then made it opaque so that just disappears we can't see it as a DM it's not just flooding across all of our screen constantly all right so uh, we should be able to should we test this make sure this one works before we go too far I've lost Haley 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 it doesn't have to be Haley it just always is so uh, yeah so Haley should be able to walk up these stairs that didn't work did it oh it did work why why was that so jerky and slow hmm we're back on the ground floor there should be a tile here and then it teleported us to there so, oh something's not working <laughs> something's not working at all and I bet it's going to be to do with levels it is going to be to do with levels so let's check on levels here so this tile is at, in the correct place uh, okay that looks fine but on the first floor this tile this should be in the correct place but it doesn't appear to be teleporting her to here now this is strange um, and this is something I've not done 
previously, which is using the active tile triggers between levels. We've not done it. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, active tile triggers between levels. So something's not quite how I expected it to be. And I don't know why. But that's why we're here, isn't it? Yeah, that's my excuse. We're here to learn. <laughs> it's the only excuse I've got. So it's moving her to the right place, just not on the right level. So if she can go round and round, dumps her in the right place, but not at the right level. So that will be to do with that active tile needs to also change the character's elevation. And that's something I'm... Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so... Uh, 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 is it to do with this or is it to do with the landing tile we need to update let's have a look at the landing tile because it's taking it to the right place so show even when below allow sight don't hide in fog strict range if enabled this will only be shown if the token is inside tile range and no no and none of that seems to be relevant to this once per token hover pointer no I can't see anything in here that is relevant to that. Hey, we're learning, all right? <laughs> so even when below, that's going to be the same options, of course. So I'm wondering if in the triggers, can we add a trigger that... Oh, monk's token bar, action flow... Uh, hang on, let's have a look at this. It might be in here. So positioning, random, doesn't matter. Trigger at destination, delete source token, preserve settings if token is used, avoid tokens at destination. Because we need it to change height as well. Hmm... Okay. I wonder how many of you are already scribbling in the comments going, you need to do this. <laughs> uh, alter, that's going to be attributes. Change position, change scene, change wall door, chat message, close dialogue, create journal notes, uh, elevation, triggering. Ah, right, so this might be it. So can we do that? Can we change the elevation of that token? It says plus value or minus value. So, so is that what we need? And what order do they need to be in? So let's try this. This might be this might be the solution. So we go around here and it should change our elevation and has dumped her onto what floor are we on? Yeah, it's dumped onto the first floor. Good. There we go. Problem solved. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, honest. Okay, good. Let's delete her. Let's just try that again just to make sure it works. Okay. We come around here. Boom. There we go. She's now upstairs. And in fact, actually, looking at the way that works... Looking at the way that elevation works. Bear with me, because we might change the way we do this. Back to the ground floor. Back to this triggering tile here. If I get rid of the teleport, so all we're doing is changing that height when she walks on there. Bring it back down here. When she walks on there, it's dumping her at the top of the stairs. Because it's just moved her directly up the map. Which means... Uh, on the first floor here which means we don't actually need that tile that's nice now it did say token Haley exceeded the um, the ceiling of the currently selected level please manually set token height or make your level higher no, okay so it's given a bit of an error because it's pushing her up through the ceiling um, but that's actually kind of what I want to do so that might give us a little bit of grief later on but 
I'm liking the way that works because what we can do now, of course, being careful not to draw over our existing, being careful not to do exactly that, is we can take this new tile and we can dump this here. And this one should, we should be able to do the same thing. Let's change, choose our thing and we'll make that a, uh, Okay, actually, let's leave a bit of colour on it for the moment. Uh, triggers should be when anyone and en token enters it, etc. The actions will be um, elevation for the triggering token. Add ten. So when we hit this one, that should take us up ten, which will dump us right here. Now we should be able to. Dang, nabbit! Stop doing that create another tile which we can make a bit a little bit more fitting and be careful we don't uh, okay so for this one what we can do is let's uh, let's again change that image so that we can hide it better uh, and on this one triggers yet yeah, tokens entering etc and the actions is going to be uh, elevation for the triggering character minus 10 so that should take them down again so that's as high as we go we can go down here to the first floor I need to be careful these tiles aren't overlapping or we might end up going up and down up and down up and down so maybe this tile we need to make sure that's there I'm going to test it in a second anyway of course oh gosh keep snapping I keep forgetting to hold shift okay so on this floor we need another one for going down We should be able to do again triggers for elevation for the triggering token minus 10. Pop that in there. Um, and the ground floor one was there. Um, let me just make these slightly, uh, let, let me make sure these are easier to see right for the moment for testing purposes. So that one should take you up, that one should take you down. That one should take you down. That one should take you up. Right, Haley, come and help me test this, please. No, I don't want your character sheet, darling. Go away. <laughs> so let's see if this works. So we can go up the stairs. Brilliant, here we are, we're upstairs. Can we go back downstairs? <laughs> oh, no. Haley's vanished. She's mine. Oh, it's taken her to. Oh, it's taken her to. I thought it was going to drop her by. Right. Okay. Okay. I think you probably all already know what I've done wrong, don't you? Thank you very much. Get over there, Haley. Let's delete you. Right. So let's have another look at these tiles. I wasn't expecting this video to be anywhere near this long. Um, but. We're doing something I've not done before and clearly are not doing it right. So this is the value to increase or decrease. So I thought that would add or take away, but it didn't. It set it. So let's make sure that this is working correctly then. So if I just put value 10 for that one, that should set her elevation to 10. On this one, this is going down. And I've got minus 10 there, but I think I'm wondering if I should, if I set it to zero. Uh, this one's going up. So rather than plus 10, is that to set it to 20? Let's find out. 
So this should take it to 10. Great. And now this should take it back to 0. That's taking it. Oh. Oh, yeah. But here I'm going over. If I go up these stairs, as I try to come round this staircase, I'm hitting that other trigger, which is taking me down again. Okay. So something's not working there because the triggers are on the wrong level. So again, lots of errors there. Attempted movement collides with at least one floor ceiling. Yeah, I don't care. I want it. I, 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 I know it's doing that. Deliberately, I'm moving them through the floor slash ceiling. Um, right. <laughs> so this one here, I'm moving her through this. When she comes up the stairs... Hang on, which one is it? To ground floor, I can walk around here, hit that trigger, it takes me to here. When I walk around here, it's hitting this trigger, it's taking me to here, but then it's hitting this trigger, which is then taking me back down. So this trigger appears to not be... I wonder if I could change that to 19... It appears like the trigger tile is, is kind of, for this one at least, is going across the entire level, which is a bit weird. Because it's not triggering on the bottom floor. It triggers correctly on that floor. That's triggering correctly. And I've got to fix that one going back down, haven't I? So the wording, something we've learned, is the wording is not quite right on this thing. It says use plus value to increase. But actually if you put... Oh. Does it mean... Do it like that. Hmm. So actually I want, I want that to be 10 for this one. Do I? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so confusing. Well, it is for me. <laughs> Try again, Haley. We can go up. Lovely. We can go down. Good. We can go back up. We can come around here. We can go up. We can go down. We can go up. We can go down. We can go up. And we're in the attic. There we go. Now, of course, this is not changing. This is changing the floor for this token, but it's not changing the layer that the DM is currently active on. But it means that you could potentially have players, of course, on different levels of the house. Bit of a pain in the backside, I nearly said something else, um, if they do that, but it's legitimate that they could do that, isn't it? Are we happy that this is functional? I think we are. So, that's the first floor down to the ground floor. All right, so we've got that working. Uh, apologies, that was a lot more uh, laborious than I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to make these now effectively invisible because uh, we don't want the players actually seeing them. There we go. And that seems to be working. All right, so it does get a bit confused with the levels and things like that. Um, obviously, we will run through from the player point of view just to check all those things as well and make sure that works. Um, now, if anybody, you know, some of you are, we know this, some of you guys are a lot more experienced with some of these functions and features than I am. So if you're watching that and you're crying into <laughs> Cry, crying into your cup of tea <laughs> what the hell is he doing <laughs> by all means leave something in the comments to say look you're doing it wrong dude try it this way um but this appears to be functioning even if it's not particularly elegant if you want to give me an elegant more elegant solution that would be great and obviously i can share it with other people so that they can you know get it right first time um but we're done here the only thing i need to do is to put in a trigger up here uh, make sure we're on in the attic a trigger up here for characters stepping here and it's going to change scene for them so i haven't got that scene yet um i'm going to do that in the next video 
uh, we're put in that scene we'll start building out the dungeon area uh, which of course is all going to be fully dark we won't have anything like the lighting challenges for that um, but what do you think about sounds we haven't got any sounds at all for the death house yet recommendations what do you think should we just not put anything should we have a i don't know um, a little bit of wind noise from outside should we have i mean we could put in some creaky floorboards you know an active monk's tile trigger uh, active monk a monk's active tile trigger that when you walk over it, it just goes eh, just makes a eh, kind of creak noise as they walk over floorboards and we can set those with a percentage chance to go off so they won't go off all the time we could do that do we want to bother um just let me know what you think we should do about sounds for this for the house uh, and then we can work on that uh thank you for watching if you've made it all the way to this point um <laughs> well done endurance test for you uh, and uh, i will see you in the next one where we will be continuing building house of strad thank you very much you take care bye bye